So everything about this build has been interesting. Uh, the tantalum cap you see near the center of the screen there exploded a little while ago. Wish I'd actually had the video camera rolling. Uh, powered system up and bang, big flash. A uh, nice loud noise. Tantalum caps do fail. I'm going to go ahead and remove that cap and put in a suitable replacement. Uh, so I've got the focus fixed on the cap at this point. So, uh, exciting morning. Uh, anyhow, on to replacing a failed tantalum cap. So as the desoldering station warms up here, take a little look at what's going to happen here. I know it's pretty difficult to see. Of course, this cap is down here between the uh, ram mounting and the power input, so it's nice and deep in there. It's going to make it interesting to get at. Uh, I'm hoping that the board survived. Uh, it should have. Uh, it is the third cap down here, and of course with this large ground plane inside it may make heating this up interesting. I'm going to go ahead and use the Heiko uh, FR300 solder desoldering tool just because uh, I think I'll have better luck with it. Of course it's going to be just my luck that it's plugged up. There it goes. I should go ahead and change out the clean out the uh, I obviously looking at it did not clean this out last time I used it which is of course my bad I should definitely have cleaned it out last time so right now I'm just cleaning out the uh, little catcher mechanism here it's got the ceramic filter in the back a little metal plate down inside of there that I'm sure you can't see that the solder hits up against as it's drawn through based on the fact that that's completely full and it just simply sits down inside of here do one more pass with the cleaning rod I will need my better pair of glasses before I dive into this. I don't know if I've got the heat up sufficiently or not. Uh, I'm dialed in at about three and a half, which is 450 degrees, maybe a little bit more. It's pretty high heat, but it usually takes a fair amount of heat. Of course, those glasses aren't going to do it. I'll try to do this with the other hand. you get some visibility I believe the cap kind of fell out there on its own uh, see if I can get you a little better view of the destroyed capacitor I don't know how that well that's doing focus wise I can't get it to focus. Oh, it's always got to be difficult. Let's see if I can get a fixed focus there and then get the cap into the focus for you. 
So you can see this little cap just absolutely blew itself apart. Now, one of the holes desoldered, the other one didn't. Uh, the lead fell immediately out. So it might make clearing that hole a little bit difficult. But I'll give it a shot here. A little fresh solder. Oh, damn it. work a lead down into there. Tip's too big to come in from this side. Would have been better for that dead cap to have just not fallen straight out of there. But I do believe that got it. Yeah, both holes are down open. The silk screen is labeled, so I know the positive side of the cap. I'm going to assume these are all the same value. Uh, of course, as always, I can't read them. fun having uh, poor eyesight and electronics as a hobby. Looks like it's a 10 microfarad 16 volt. So I'll go find a replacement cap and be back. So I've got a fair amount of tantalums to pick from here. The vast, well not the vast majority, but a lot of these are pools. Uh, of course pools are dangerous because uh, they've already been in service and may well fail. So I'm looking for new, I've got a 15 microfarad 16 volt here, which is pretty close. And the little bin of 10 microfarads, there's nothing in there that I believe is new. Now well, that might be. Yeah, that's a new one. But it's 10 microfarad 10 volt. I really don't want to do that. What came out was 16 volt. Uh, and I don't know if it was on the 12 volt rail or not. Uh, I've got some 33 microfarad 16 volt, which would probably work fine. I mean, these are these are uh, decoupling on the power supply rails, but I'll go ahead and use the 15 microfarad uh, cap for this. get the soldering pencil to turn on and hopefully hopefully there was no other damage it was just hopefully I've kind of got this on camera it's physically smaller quite a bit actually Yeah, there's some definite you know he's just got blast material on him you know all the work and time I've put into bringing this motherboard back to life I'd really hate to have seen it just fail completely sufficient for what I need to do. I guess I will find out. Honestly, technically, I don't know that this cap needed to be replaced. There's plenty of them on here.
from a system stability view. Uh, it makes sense to replace it. solder job. Next step is to uh, go to the other bench and see if I can get this thing to post.